I've never been much of a letter writer, let alone a writer at all. The words you're about to read are the only ones I have left. In a way, I feel so grateful for every single day and every single thing I have had. I get to see the sunset every day. And God, the colors are always so pretty. I get to ride my bike along the water and listen to the waves crash upon the shore. And that brings me to complete peace. I love the sound of laughter. Something about it always brings me chills. Laughter can fill up an empty room. It has so much power, but no one really talks about it. There is something about the way people use their hands when they talk. In a way, you learn so much about a person by their hands. People are so interesting. There are so many layers to peel to fully understand the depth of just one human. <laughs> and there are seven billion humans that deserve to be understood. The wind. It has something so freeing to it. When it hits your face, all of a sudden you're alive. Because even if we're already alive and breathing, we get so comfortable with living that sometimes we forget to actually live. We all have this ticket to enter, but after the gates open, it's all really up to you. It's what you do. I know that what I'm saying doesn't make sense, but we all have our reasons. I had my reasons. It's like the concept of elevators. You walk in, press a button, and it takes you to your desired location. But what if you're standing in an elevator with no buttons and no location to desire? Where does it take you then? What do you do then? It is so easy to say, get out of the elevator. But what floor do I press in order for the door to open? You see, I love the way life works in theory. It's beautiful in a messed up way. I think beauty can only be messy because if everything was so picture perfect, how could that even be classified as beauty? And what does picture perfect even mean? I think I'm rambling because I know these are the last few things I'll ever think about. And I'm okay with that. My mind is so full yet so empty. You consumed me. You made it full and took away the empty for as long as you could. I know. If I could look into your eyes forever, I would. And I did. Because my forever ended a long time ago. Before I end this letter, what I want everyone to truly understand is, I do see good in the world. I see the beauty in people and things. However, sometimes people suffer mental burdens so deep that the little things can't take away from the constant battle happening within. I haven't really figured out how to end a letter like this, because what can one say that leaves enough closure? Just know that you were always loved, and thank you for being a part of my story.